Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a Swindon Town versus Rochelle match preview. Now before I start this preview properly, I've got four Swindon Town fans that are coming out into the channel today. It is Harvey Cole, Matty Richard, Ross Lee Martin and Jack Cotton. Four Swindon fans, as you know, they've been in the vlogs uh, last season and the previews. So I'm going to get all four of them in this preview and we're going to meet up at the county ground on Saturday and have a pint probably, you know. But yeah, I'm going to get these four Swindon fans in for the preview and then I'll preview the game myself. Hello everyone, I'm Harvey and I'm going to give a bit of insight on Swindon the last few games. So first game of the season we played um, Harrogate, got absolutely hammered 3-0, we were terrible, awful, played like five at the back, couldn't create nothing, didn't really get a shot on target and then after that we played Salford at home, Harry McCurdy got sent off at half time. And then the second half, we played quite well with 10 men and probably should have scored a goal. It ended nil-nil that game, so we should have won that game, really. If we had 11 men, I think we would have. And then the third game, we played Carlisle. It was a good start, scored in the first half, and then as soon as we scored, we conceded. So it was a bit of a shit show, really. And then we just couldn't score another goal. Couldn't score any more goals to kill off the game. So it was a bit of a... A fuck up in defence. And then that was the end of that really. And then obviously after Carlisle we played is there another game I'm not missing. We played um last night against Leighton Orient. Um it was a good game to be fair against uh, a good Leighton Orient side. I don't think they were at their best though, to be fair. But we got a point against Leighton Orient, scored first, Harry McCurdy, um, after Jacob Wakelin. Um, very, very good player. He um, likes running at defenders, likes closing down. He's he's probably the player to watch. He probably won't score loads of goals, but he's a player that likes um, pressing defences. So he's a, he's a dangerous player. He passed it, he squared it to Harry McCurdy and then McCurdy scored. So we're getting, getting better, just need to get that first win. And I think on Saturday against Rochdale, we do need to win. It's a must win, really. As the same it probably is for Rochdale when they haven't got a point. I think it would be Swindon 2, Rochdale 1. Thank you to Morgan for letting me come on to his channel for this. Uh, Swindon Rochdale Saturday, I'm going to go... 2-1 Swindon, McCurdy and Wakelin and Tyree Sinclair for Rochdale. No offence, but we should be winning this game. Rochdale are bottom of the league with no points. We are on three points so far, which is three draws. We've had three draws so far. But yeah, should be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Um, hopefully we win, but you never know of us. We'll probably fuck it up because that's what we are. But yeah... Um, Good luck Saturday and up swing. Peace. Yo, back on Morgan's Great Channel again. Thank you very much, Morgan, for the invite. Now, talk about this game Saturday, Swindon Town versus Rochdale. It's always an exciting fixture. Um, there was a few chances when we went to their ground uh, last season. Davidson should have scored a few, uh, but it ended in 0-0. Pretty shame that was my first away day of the season as well. Uh, but yeah, this season, two completely different teams. Obviously, uh, Rochdale bringing back Henderson. Uh, club legend for them apparently fans absolutely love him uh, we've got some youngsters they're not really jalling at the moment neither of us are going very well in the league obviously Rochdale have knocked out Burton in the FL Cup they've now got Sheffield Wednesday so fair play to them for beating Burton but we're yet to win a game in any competition only scoring twice having two red cards it's not really good is it uh, it's not looking good for either team at the moment but we'll be both looking for our first victory of the season hopefully we do get it I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swindon Town win thank you very much Morgan for the invite well go on Morgan and um, let's go for prediction for Swindon and Rochdale on Saturday I'm going to go 2-1 Swindon goal scorers I'm going to say McCurdy and Williams Rochdale I'm going to say Ian, uh, Ian Henderson you would there you have Harvey, Jack, 
that's it. Ross's preview thoughts. Now I'm gonna preview the game myself and preview this video. So Swindon Town Football Club play the county ground. Their manager is Scott Lindsay. Their chairman is Clem Marginet. And the capacity of the stadium is fifteen thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight. There's hosting fans home and away. Um, their nicknames are the Robins and the Reds, and they currently sit 19th in Sky Bet League 2. So, Swindon Town's last five games, well, first five games, should I say, as we've both played five each. This is including cup competition, so we've played four in the league and once in the cup. So this is including cup competition as well, so... Swindon Town started off the season with a defeat to Harrogate Town, where... Simon Wiener's men come out comfortably 3-0, and then a 0-0 draw to Salford city then they took a 2-0 defeat and a first round exit out of the carabao cup to walsall and then they faced carlisle that game ended 1-1 and they've just played Leighton orient yesterday and also drew that game 1-1 in both games of carlisle and Leighton orient swindon town have taken the lead and obviously conceded straight after and i think swindon last night against Leighton orient swindon with one nil up in four minutes and then by the time I checked, like six minutes later, so on the tenth minute, Paul Smith would equalise the late in Orient. Um, now on to Rochelle's last side, we currently do sit 24th in Scab at League 2. Uh, bit of an embarrassing start for us, let's be honest. Zero points. And I'll, I'll talk about the rest after I've gone through the last five games. So Rochelle opened day at season. Home to crew Alexander, lost 2-1. Then we went to Gillingham, lost 1-0. Then we went to Burton at home, won 2 0 in the Carabao Cup, and we do uh, we do take on Sheffield Wednesday. I'm about to say we do host Sheffield Wednesday. Um, no, we are away to Sheffield Wednesday in the second round of the cup, and then we took a one 0 loss to Grimsby Town. And last night when Swindon played as well, we also went to Stevenage and lost one 0 Now, all those losses are. Set piece situations are from a corner. We can't defend them. Last night were too easy. Carl Pergiani, free header, free goal. Who's there helping O'Donnell out when he needs help? You know. It's just a joke. We've we're now four league games in, and apart from one goal, which was Cruz second, wasn't a set piece. Apart from that, we conceded a set piece of Crew, a set piece of Gillingham, a set piece of Grimsby, a set piece of Stevenage. We can't defend set piece situations, and it's all good winning and getting through to the second round of the Carabao Cup. But once you're out of the Carabao Cup, you're focusing on the league, so we we need to focus on that as well. Um, now, a lot of Rochdale fans have been asking me, "Am I Robbie in and Robbie out?" And unfortunately, if we lose on Saturday to Swindon via the same mistakes and Robbie out. Now you're probably thinking why are you being harsh? You said you're back your manager and all this. Yeah, I did say that. But look at it, he's got no plan B. He's played Henderson in the wrong position to start with. Playing him in midfield is a fucking striker, you know what I mean? But yeah, it is what it is. Uh we'll see Saturday. My score prediction for Saturday is gonna be a tough test. Swindon yet to win. Rochelle yet to win. Can Rochelle snatch up the first win? In League 2, we did it last season on the 20th of August 2021 and we played Swindon a year later, 20th of August 2022. So, can history repeat itself? Can Rochelle get their first win? I'm not confident, um, but every time I predicted a loss, we seem to win. I predicted a loss against Burton and we won. So, you know what? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm going to say a cheeky 2 1 Rochelle win. I'm going to go Ian Henderson. And I'm going to go Sinclair. And for Swindon, I'm going to go either Harry McCurdy or Jonathan Williams. As you know, he got his first town goal against Rochelle in our 2-2 draw at the county ground last season. Uh, it's going to be a tough test. By no means is this going to be easy, but got to give it our best. Build up some confidence for Sheffield Wednesday because... We're going to be down on confidence, obviously, losing the last two games to the same mistake, set-piece situations. You know, the, the, the lads in confidence, and if we can do something at Swindon, take a point, you know, play play a good style. Well, we do play good football. We just can see, I wouldn't say it's 
good at the moment. But, yeah. I'm going to leave it here for this match preview. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you already. I'll see you all at the county ground for Swindon Town versus Rochelle. Up the Dale.